I'm blind. Well, not quite, but as the more perceptive you may have realised today, I'm wearing glasses. And the more telepathic of you may have noticed that I've been wearing them since year five. And they are the most annoying things I could have ever imagined them to be. First off, why do they have to break so much? I mean, sure, sometimes things will break and, you know, you'll have to replace them. But the reason you know the name for every single screwdriver in existence should not be the things that help you see 24-7. My form tutor, Mr Gosling, he teaches resistant materials. And I have to ask him every single day to borrow his flat head this or his Phillips head that. And I think if I gave him a pound every time, he'd be a millionaire by now. And then there's those times when you've been watching television until late in the night, and I know I like to do this. And in my rush to get on the bus to school in the morning, I forget the most important thing in my life, my phone. But that wouldn't matter at all if I hadn't left my glasses on top of it the night before. And then I'm stuck in the back of my chemistry class, or my physics class, just as my teacher is putting out what could quite possibly be the longest equation Einstein could have dreamt up. And I say quite possibly, but I've got no idea how long it is. I can't see it. <laughs> and I wasn't going to tell you this, but I feel like we're all friends now. So when I was training to do this speech today, I kept on being told by the instructors to do certain things to improve it, to make it better. And one of those things was eye contact. Every time, I kept on being told to make eye contact with my audience because it engages them and makes them enjoy your speech more. And I couldn't realise why I wasn't doing it. Every time I was being told, Jude, you have to make eye contact, otherwise you're never going to get anywhere with your speech. And then I realised, I couldn't see their eyes. <laughs> I had no idea where they were. And then, by the time lunch came, I'd worked it out, and I was making eye contact left, right and centre. And by the end of the day, I made it here by some miracle. And I think the moral of this speech of uninspiring words and self-pity is that in life there are many things that we'll have and we won't appreciate. And we'll hear the horror stories of people who don't have them and who never, can never get them back. And we don't appreciate what things we have, no matter how small they are, until they're gone and we can never get them back. Thank you.